with Carla Biaggio, uh, Relocation Director at uh, Fisher and Chicken Dance. We're going to ask her some questions about residency and citizenship in Uruguay. So, Carla, um, can you tell me about the simplicity of applying for residency in Uruguay? Uh, the process uh, and the requirements are, are quite simple. Um, you only need to gather some documents uh, in overseas, wherever you come from. In your case, it would be uh, America. And then enter Uruguay as a tourist. You can stay here for 90 days. And from the day you fight for residency, you can stay in Uruguay indefinitely. So it's really a matter of, of gathering some documents, having them stamped. What kind of documents do you need? You need your birth certificate, your marriage certificate, if applies, uh, a police record, because Uruguay would, uh, wants to ensure that people who come and live here have a clean police mm -hmm. record, and a proof of income. Um, again, they just want to uh, ensure that you can um, live with whatever uh, income you have. And is there a, an income threshold? Um, no, not really. Okay. Uh, and and we, we can tell you exactly uh, what kind of income is acceptable for, for the government. But it's, it's quite easy. As I said before, the process is easy. It can be bureaucratic because there are lots of documents and stamping, but it's easy. And you get your card the first day, though. You get benefits of residency the first day. Yes, because from the day you file for residency, you are what we call a resident process or a temporary resident. And that uh, you will have be issued with a proof of that, what we call an identity card. Mm -hmm. Your identity card or anybody's will look exactly the same as the identity card for any Uruguayan, and that's the proof uh, that you are a resident in process or are a temporary resident. And what's the benefit of being a resident of Uruguay? Um, well, there are many benefits associated with being a, a Uruguayan resident. To begin with, you can stay indefinitely in Uruguay legally. Mm -hmm. uh, then it's like the, the first step to get your citizenship and a second passport. And if you're a legal resident, you can also uh, get a permanent uh, cedula. And with that, you can travel easier within the Mercosur countries, and by that I mean um, Argentina, Paraguay, Peru, Bolivia, Chile. And define a cedula. I hear that term used a lot. What exactly is a cedula? A cedula is an identity card. Okay. Uh, we all have, and unlike in the U.S., I think, uh, we all have an identity card, and that's from the day you are born. You're registered in the civil registry, so you have an identity, which is one of the basic human rights. Mm -hmm. You know, you are. Uh, you have a name and you're registered and the, the state knows that you exist and to prove that you go to the civil registry, you, they take your fingerprints and all the, de you know, your data where you were born, who from and you're issued with uh, a document that proves who you are. It has a photograph, your fingerprints, it says when you were born, where. Mm. Uh, so that's like every Uruguayan has this identity, proof of identity. Okay. You will have exactly the same. Okay. And w the, once you have resident, what is the process and how long is that process to get citizenship and ultimately a passport? Um, residency you file uh, before the National Migration Office. In the case of uh, citizenship, you file before the Electoral Court. And uh, it's, again, easy. It takes uh, three years from the day you first arrived to fight for residency if you are married and five years if you are single. And again, you just need to prove uh, who you are, um, that you are a resident, a couple of witnesses uh, who can testify to, to your identity. Um, uh, you have to prove your social insertion. But it's, it's quite easy again and, and it takes three to five years from the day you first arrived.